This is the Drama Theater in the city of Mariupol. A year ago, on March 16th, the Russian Air Force bombed it. Up to a thousand civilians lived there at that moment. What you are about to see is a reconstruction of the civilian camp that grew up inside of the theater until its destruction. Its layout, its workings, its people, brought to life by witness accounts. Witness testimony and reconstruction may be used in future cases against Russia in court. During the first week of the Russian invasion, the front line was moving rapidly towards Mariupol. Frightened by constant shelling, residents fled from the suburbs to the center of the city. People gathered there, waiting for evacuation. Hundreds of them entered the drama theater and established a makeshift camp. It was chaotic at first, but people started to organize quickly. The underground floor of the theater was used as a bomb shelter. The ground floor, as a communal space. Windows were barricaded, duty rosters and shifts were established. Offices served as living quarters for families and pregnant women. There was an infirmary, an outdoor kitchen, and a kindergarten. The concert hall was considered to be the most dangerous because of the giant chandelier. On the stage stood the piano. People always gathered around. By March 16th, up to a thousand civilians lived in the drama theater. Outside, they painted an inscription on the sidewalk, big enough to be seen from the air. It said children in Russian. At 10.05 a.m., the Russian Air Force made a precision strike on the theater. OSCE and Amnesty International classified the attack as a war crime. <laughs> 